Welcome back. This is Dan Havey with another AI quick tip. And today we are going to take a look at how to start off with a color palette that we're going to create. Then we're going to overlay that onto an image using not only that uh, color palette as a style reference, we're also going to then use a character reference as well. And so I'll show you how we're going to do this as well as an image reference. So what I did with this one here is we started off with this image image and all I did on this image let me click this again and get this to close is I came in here and I took the exact same prompt from up here at the top and I said just put in this color palette right here and what it says is color palette with oxford blue moonstone gunmetal and lapis lazula or lazuli I guess it is and some of the words have quotes around them some do not if it was a two two word combination on the color I put a quote around it the single words I did not and we'll see in a minute why that made a difference here so I did that and you notice in the original image up here we got a lot of reddish colors in the background red and orange and stuff so I said put in these other colors and those colors here are represented by this image right here so that's the kind of colors we would expect to see once we apply this color palette to it and you're going to see immediately we still have a lot of the oranges and reds in here but we also then are picking up the blues in the background as well so that's just putting it in as text what I then did is I took this image over here and I put it in as a style reference so I said in here instead of putting in the text like this I just said sref and then I dragged or pasted in the link to this image right over there. Paste that in, it turns it into a shortened link in here. And then this is the result we get, where all of the background is very much the blues and the other colors that we have in here. You got the lighter colors in a lot of here as, as well. So it's a pretty cool effect, and doing it that way, you're applying a style reference. Now you can put a style weight on here as well, uh, but we're not going to talk about that so much in this video. So what I want to do is jump over into the alpha version of Midjourney and see where I went from there. Because inside of the alpha version, I started looking at this and I'm saying, okay, let me uh, see if I can drag this thing out of the way. Get me out of the way here. Um, I, I put in that same prompt and I kept getting all these images like this, like pretty much like the one you saw already. And what I realized is like, okay, is it picking up the word stone? You got moonstone here. Is that that why it's given me all of these round things like this. So what I tried then is putting quotes around everything and I got a much more clear idea of what the palette was. And I then used this palette to create some images up here, which we'll come back to in a second. But then I also went all the way up here to the top and I started putting in color palette with the colors and laid out as four equally sized vertical bars. Now, it didn't quite get that right, but this here is also really good. But the thing is, is it seems to work no matter what, whether you're using images like this or if you're using images like this even um, or the ones down here at the bottom. All of them seem to work just fine because it picks up the color palette nicely, but you want to experiment and see what you can do. So then the next thing I did is I came in here and I said, okay, I want to create some images based upon a color palette and everything else. So what I'm going to start off with, let me see what happens when I click on this image of this woman. I think it's just going to show me the image. That's what it's going to do. I don't want to do that. So what we're going to do is we're going to come over here and click on create, and it should give me a list of images over here on the side. It's not going to. So let's try this. Let's scroll down here. And what I want to do is find uh, another picture of a woman. Let's just uh, start here. Let's just take this woman right here. So what we're going to say now, let me move this out of the way a little bit. Uh, we're going to say now we're going to start with this as our image prompt. So we're going to click on that as our image. And we'll click on that again, get it in there. And you're going to see it's got a little icon on here. If you hover over it, it will say uh, use as image prompt. So we're going to use this picture as our image prompt. Now we want to use a style. So we're going to come over here and we're going to just scroll up along the left side here until we get up to, let's go all the way up to the top. And let's just use one of those top palettes that I did at the very end. And so let's just say we're going to use this one here. Okay, that's good. Now we're going to use this as our style reference. 
and we have that there. And now what we want to do is we want to put in a character reference. So let's do that as well. So let's uh, scroll down on our images again, and we're going to change out that woman. So let's uh, find a different woman. Maybe we'll go back to the same woman I was using earlier. I don't want to use that one. And we're just going to click on down here at the bottom. Once we found that same woman that we were using before, we're going to click on image again. It's going to bring it in here. But what we have to do now is we have to change this from the image over here. We're going to change this to our character reference. I don't know of any other way at this point to get it in other than typing in uh, something in the, in the prompt line as well. So now we're going to change this. And so we got our image reference. We have our style reference and we have our character reference. So it's going to take the basic image of the very first one, the background, the lighting, all that is going to apply that bluish color palette and then it's supposedly going to put the face of this woman you see on the screen into it and so we're just going to say here in a prompt um, a woman at sunset which is I think what I put into the other one and let's just put in an aspect ratio even though let's let's just do it the way you would do it normally in uh, alpha here so we're going to say okay we got our aspect ratio as to one we have our style our mode as raw and everything else is set here so let's do this we're going to hit enter and then we're going to let it generate our images and I'll move myself again here and let's see we'll come to I have trouble getting back into create sometimes. Um, so let's come back down here and look at these images uh, that I created earlier. So what I did is, let's go down here. So first thing I did is I used the image of that woman and that color palette from right down here, and it created these images for me at woman at sunset, okay? So then I said, let's use this image of this woman as a character reference, and so that that's what this did here. So it took this woman with the hat on and used it up here. And if you see, these faces are virtually identical. And then one of the things I noticed is it had a bad hand. And so I went in here and I said, and I'll show you how to do this again. We'll click on this here. It's already marked as very region, but we'll click on that again. We'll come in here. It's already masked out that region on the hand, and we will click on the go button, and it will then, let me see, we gotta close that. It will then start recreating that image, and what it did is it gave me these four versions here. Some of the hands are still a little jacked up. You may need to rerun this a few times, but um, this one here was pretty good, and uh, so like I said, rerun it until you get a hand that looks decent. So now what we did is we'll come up to this image here. We had that same woman from before. We had our blue color palette and we had our uh, woman in the background here. So this is our style reference, woman, the uh, yellowish colors on here. And then we had our color palette. And again, we had this woman right here. Again, very much a yellow orangish background in here. And now it turned it into these shades of blue and gray in the background instead. And so that's how you can use a color palette, a character reference, and a style reference. And again, up here, let's take a look at our hands. Again, this hand looks pretty good. Uh, maybe this one as well. So um, again, there's a way you can also fix the hands as well. Just mask them out, tell it to rerun it with a new hand, and eventually it will tend to get it right. And this is running in, uh, let me see here, it must be 6.0 that we are running in. Let me see, what did I have this set to, yes, version 6.0. So this was running in 6.0 as well. So if you got any questions, just let me know.